What in the hell is that thing? That looks like a mummy. It is. It's a zombie mummy for 500 hit points. Oh, shit. He's waking up. Is he fast? Can mummies bleed? They shouldn't. Theoretically, they shouldn't be able to bleed, right? He he moves pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Mummies can bleed. Don't ask me to explain that. And welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to see if we can get some gasoline, uh, which we need for the mini bike, and we're going to make ourselves a scrap knife, and after that, I don't know, we'll do something. We'll figure it out. Yes, we will. All right, so yeah, let's see. Oh, comments. Let's talk about comments. I met a lot of you guys. Uh, well, when I say a lot, that's relative uh, to the number of comments I normally get anyway. Uh, but I've had several of you comment on the whole chipmunk thing. And it's kind of funny in the sense that um, one, uh, about a third of you who commented don't like it at all said don't do it. Uh, about a third of you who commented really like it and said, yeah, keep doing it. It's really funny. I laughed my ass off, et cetera, et cetera. And then about a third of you said you don't really mind it, but don't do it too much, you know, um, either too often or for too long. Um, so interesting to hear everyone's comments on that. Um, and so what, what I'm going to do is I'm basically not going to change anything. I'm going to keep doing what I've always done. And when I feel like it's appropriate to do a chipmunk sequence, not for the sake of doing a chipmunk sequence itself, but to show you all the content, but speed it up a little bit uh, and still have you hear my commentary, we're going we're gonna to do it. We're not going to change anything with one exception. Um, I do understand that if that sequence is really long, it can get a little tedious. I, I do that. So what I will try and do in the future is try not to do such a long chipmunk sequence, you know, like we did last time. So uh, hopefully everybody is happy with that, um, you know, overall. And that's that settles it. <laughs> OK, so uh, we got that out of the way. Now, let's see here. We can actually make ourselves a scrap knife. I was It's kind of funny. I was looking at this off camera, and then one of you guys actually commented on it uh, after I had looked at it and decided, you know, to do it. So it's kind of funny how that, that happened. But if we go to agility, and no, I'm sorry, not agility, uh, action skills. So with bladed weapons, we have bladed weapons 21. And so that means we can take... Uh, bladed weapon crafting initiate which unlocks the scrap knife and we have one point uh, uh, available to do that so let's buy that and now we can make ourselves a scrap knife which I'm sure we're going to probably have to do in the um, uh, the workbench the real workbench so let's see does it even come up scrap knife yeah right here okay so Oh, no, we can do this in the personal craft station. Beautiful. Okay, so what do we need for the scrap knife? Let's take a look at that. Scrap knife. All right, so we're going to need 200 iron. No shit. So you're, it's going to take me 200 scrap iron to make this little tiny rusted para knife. <laughs> Come on, man. What the hell? All right, so if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Uh, that's what it takes. 10 wood, 2 leather, and 2 duct tape. So, uh, we might have to go, I've got 25 iron there. Do I have it anywhere else? Don't have any iron there. Uh, oh, I, I know I can remake the iron out here, but that doesn't make sense. We're just going to have to mine some up. Um, okay. So yeah, we've got plenty of leather and we got plenty of duct tape. So let's just put this iron back in here and I'm going to have to go out and mine that. Oh, I also have this book. Uh, here don't remember how or when or why I got that did I must I must have done a little bit off camera something something the last time I left you guys and found this and and kept it so I could show you on camera uh, I, honestly I don't remember where I got it but I got it somehow because it's in here and so yeah this will, will allow, allow us to do the stun repulsor mod uh, so let's eat that and um, but our main goal for today of course is to is to fill these uh, with some gas. We need to do it for this War for Gas quest anyways, but we have to do it for also our mini bike. Another comment that Terry Lynn left in uh, in the comments <laughs> uh, was she she proposed that, you know, we I was talking about the vending machines and how I didn't think it was a good idea to, this thing's still catching insects, 
polluted more than once. Uh, but she she had the counter argument that, you know, the vending machines could have been full uh, before the apocalypse happened. Oh shit, we got a spider over here. Um, and so it does it makes sense that you could go back to them several times and get stuff out of them because you know they would have been full um is this guy holy shit he hits hard wow okay um plus i was busy blabbing not paying a whole lot of attention we just about bought the farm there guys holy smokes okay these guys are a little tougher than i'm giving them credit for um, what kind of giblets do we get off this thing? We get ink. You get ink off of a spider. Oh, and and white meat. You know what that means? Bacon and eggs, baby. We get bacon. You know how they make turkey bacon sometimes? Well, this is going to be spider bacon. It's going to be delicious. Can't wait. <laughs> anyway, um, what the hell was I talking about? I can't remember now. I'm like, uh, no, we don't make that in there. We make it in here. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the vending machines, right? So so Terry Lynn said, well, you should be able to go back and loot it multiple times because it's probably, you know, uh, maybe not every single one of them, but some of them were probably full, you know, before the apocalypse took place. So that does make sense. So that kind of makes me feel a little bit better about hitting a vending machine more than once, especially, you know, in this particular mod, we have to wait every 25 days anyways on top of that. Um, so, you know, I think we're going to roll with that. So thank you to Terry Lynn for that suggestion. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. That's all I'm going to say on the subject. Okay, let's turn this into leather. And we'll put the eggs back. We'll put the fat in there. And can I make a bone out of this? Uh, no, we need, we need three. So, okay, let's just put uh, the extra in there for now. I also have four uh, dried jerkies for food as well. Now, um, we could stand to eat, but also uh, we could stand to heal up a little bit too. So this is going to help us with both of those things because that spider just about took us out. Oh my goodness, that was close. We don't have any medical like pills, do we? No, we don't. Hey, it's kind of funny. You know, I was I, I had a dream last night that I was fishing. Um, not fishing in seven days to die, but fishing, actually fishing, fishing. And I caught some big fish and it was fun. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Now let's um, go. What are we going to do? We we need iron. We need iron. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So there was uh, an iron node over. This thing is pretty much out of gas. We're going to have to leave it there. Uh, just over by the trader over here. So I'm going to go grab some iron um, and then come on back and we'll make that scrap knife and then we'll go test it out. Nice, we found some gas. We're going to have spider bacon and snake steak for dinner tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so what I thought was iron uh, over by the trader was actually lead. I completely forgot, however... I actually have an iron mine down here in my my little nighttime digging hole. Most of this uh, was dirt that I dug up for worms for fishing, uh, but we do actually have uh, an iron pocket here that I ran into. I don't even know if I showed this to you guys, so yeah, now I'm showing it to you. Uh, let me see here. Do I have a... Yeah, let's get a torch. So we have, have a little bit of iron down here. Not a ton, but, you know, enough to to get what we need for this. Let's grab um, our little stone pick here. And let's see, there's nothing there. That's coal. Oh, yeah, and there's coal down here, too. So how about that, huh? That's coal, too. That's that's iron. Okay. So, yeah, I'll get uh, 200 pieces of this mined up, and then we'll go make our knife. Okay, we are back, and let's take a look at this again. Uh, so for the craft knife, we need two leather and two duct tape. And I have 248 scrap iron. It takes a long time to get that much uh, with the stone pick. 
So it kind of sucks, but yeah, there you have it. Um, let's put two of those away so we can make a couple of uh, bones with those just to get rid of the get rid of them. And then uh, we're gonna need. We did one leather in here, right? Yeah. So oh no, we got ten leather. All right, let's grab uh, two duct tape right here. We should have everything now to make the scrap knife. And it'll be 183 quality, which means we'll be able to repair it at least once. And then I'm sure, you know, our quality will continue to get better as we go up in our own skill. We're hanging on to this repair kit for this wrench when the time comes that we need to repair it. And I did get just a tiny bit of gasoline from uh, those red barrels. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Okay, so we're just going to wait for this to finish, guys. And then when it's done, we're going to grab it and we're going to go out and see if we can find some gas pumps for the quest and also to get some gasoline. I don't know how much gas this tiny bit of gas that we did get is going to fill up the mini bike, but let's just see. Uh, let's go under the hood and we got 4% gas. Oh, we got it up to 19%. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually. That's more than I thought I was going to put in there. One of you guys asked me in the comments, old guy, why don't you just remap your uh, your Conan keys and your seven days to die keys to do the same thing? Um, honestly, I could do that. But the thing is, I'm actually playing three games right at the moment, um, uh, including Osiris. And in, in Osiris New Dawn, it's a sci-fi game, for those of you who don't know, sci-fi survival game. Um, in that game, you, you have to use F1 to get your inventory. And I don't even know if you can remap that. So it's just, you know, I, I could do it, but I'm still going to get confused anyway. So it's just a matter of not doing it, even though I should. Okay. <laughs> There you go. All right, that's our rusty scrap knife. This took 200, ladies and gentlemen, 200 pieces of scrap iron to make this thing. Where in the hell did all that 200 iron go to? Oh, man, unbalanced. I'm just going to say that's unbalanced. It really is, but what can you do? What can you do? Okay, so we moved up just a tiny bit in the world here with this uh, rusted knife. Let's actually compare it. So this knife does um, da, 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 da. it does five melee and twenty one power and four hundred percent sneak. This one does seven twenty five and four hundred percent sneak. So oh, actually, I guess we can see the difference there. So yeah, you know, it's it's an improvement. The durability is actually almost the more important thing in this case, though, because of the fact that uh, you know durability is such a thing here in Ravenhurst. Nice. Okay, so we're going to keep the bone knife as a backup, too, but we got this one now. All right, now, the question next that I need to ask myself is, would it behoove me with 19% gasoline to use this to ride around, because we're going to cover more territory in less time, uh, to walking to, to find a gas pump? And I think the answer is, I don't know, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for a gas pump. If we run the mini bike out of gas, then it just stays there and we'll come back for it later. But I thought I s saw a gas pump in this town at one point, but I couldn't s I couldn't say for sure. Like, you'd think there might be a gas pump out in front of 7-Eleven, huh? Um, not that I can see, though. Okay, well, let's just... um. Maybe what I'll do is I won't sprint, you know, hold down shift, in other words, on the mini bike, and hopefully that'll save a little bit of gas, but it's still better than walking. And let's just look around for a gas pump or even, you know, more gas cans that we could potentially loot, but we ultimately need a gas pump. So there's nothing by the dumping log, and this is pretty much the end of town. When you guys ask me in the comments, when are you going to do this, this building over here? Uh, my response was soon. And then somebody else said, make sure you're like well supplied before you go in there. So, okay, that's good to know. It is coming up at some point. Couldn't tell you exactly when, but at some point. All right, any gas pumps down this way? See, that's the pawn shop. The pawn shop is not likely to have gas pumps. That's just a house, and then it kind of goes out of town a little further. 
Looks like we had a car explosion there. See, we're already down to 15% gas now. <laughs> but hey, if I have it, I'm going to use it. We're going to have to go check out this gun store. All right, nothing in there. Oh, um, when I left you guys in the last episode, I just remembered this. I was actually wrenching cars for gas. Well, guess what happens in Ravenhurst, ladies and gentlemen? You can't get gas from wrenching cars in Ravenhurst. Sucks. Royally sucks, man. But yeah, I couldn't... What the hell's going on here? Oh, it's like a little fishing house. Well, that's neat. Look at that. You can sit on, sit on the deck there and cast your line in the water. I love it. It's got a chain link fence, which will stop zombies for, oh, you know, maybe 15, 20 seconds. Here you go, Edgar. Have a rusty knife in the face. I, po I hope you've had your tetanus shot recently because, you know, rusty metal cut is kind of, kind of a bad thing. Will you slow down, please? Thank you. Now, I wonder if this knife... Does any more bleed than the bone knife? That's something we might want to investigate. All right, take your head off. Let's just, let's see how many bleeds this knife does. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this does nine bleeds. I can't, I don't remember for sure, but I want to say that the bone knife did, does less than that. To test that out for sure, he was a 350 hit point, I think, right? We need another 350 hit point. Ooh. There's some more, there's some more dinner right there for us, you guys. Where is our thingamadoodle? There's a rabbit and a chicken over there too. I don't know. Do I want to waste a seven six two round on a rabbit and a chicken? We could try and hit him with the bow. <laughs> All right, where's the chicken? You are interrupting my hunting. Okay. Let's wait for Cowboy Bob to get about halfway down. Okay, he's halfway, so he's dead. He just doesn't mow yet. You guys are probably getting tired of hearing me say that, huh? It's all right. I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to have to live with it. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's put um, this down here. Now, Baldi is 350 hit points, too. So it, so there were nine bleeds from the rusty knife. Let's see what this does. Oh, you're only at 325. Okay, well, let's try it anyway. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure I I counted that correctly. Seems oh shit. Seems like there was at least eight. We gotta be careful, man. We're almost dead. Yeah, I could I couldn't say for sure if if the rusty knife does more bleeds. I don't I want to say it probably doesn't. It just does more upfront damage. 
Okay, anyway, let's go harvest our stuff. Can we, um, we get that chicken too? Put our bow back here. That is a long shot for a primitive bow. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe we made that. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Probably won't be able to do that one again in a million years. Okay, we got to get this deer before he de deer disappears. <laughs> See what I did there? <sighs> kill me. If I get hit again, I probably am going to kill me. I love the fishing house, though, man. That is cool. Hey, Ronnie, get out of the way. We got a deer to harvest here. Harvesting our food with a rusty knife. There you go. That's what you want to do. Oh. That's fairly deep in there, too. I'm liking this. This is a little bit weird, though. Okay, we're getting sidetracked. We gotta go, we gotta find gas pumps. We gotta find gas pumps. That's what we gotta do. We have 14% gas left. Let's go down this street and then we'll do a righty tidy. Little A-frame house action there. Does not appear to be any gas pumps down this way. Get out of the way, darling. These are the gas cans that I, I looted earlier. Who put that cart there? That's our our horde base. Yeah, I think that's that's about as good as we're gonna get, you guys. Did we go down the center here? I think we did. Yeah, because that's the that's the pawn shop. That's the 7-Eleven that should have gas pumps out in front of it. I mean, don't all 7-Elevens have gas pumps? I don't know. Alright, well, we only have 10% gas left in the mini bike. That is obviously not going to be enough to take it out of town. So there's not really much point in driving it around anymore until we get more gas. So that means we're going to have to hoof it. So let's park the mini bike here and go hiking. Because what else, what else would we do at this point, right? What else would we do? Let's go make sure we have all of our uh, inventory sorted out. Uh, so we're not taking anything more than we need to. Wait, we got a whole chicken? You'll use the male and female items you get from animals to craft a male or female. They have a home block. Right now it's hay bale. Place hay, surround them in a four high fence or wall, or they will wander. Place a trough in a cra and craft animal feed. Fill the trough with feed. Pour water out into a hole for them to drink out of. They will poop. You can place a toilet to catch their poop. Eventually they will have babies, and the cycle repeats. Holy shit, that's a long list of to-dos. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll save that for another day. So we have two male chickens. Do they stack? Yes, they do. Okay. Um, yeah. So what you have to do to to raise animals in Ravenhurst is you have to jump up and down. You have to jump up and down on one leg and pat your tummy and your head at the same time. You have to bend over, do a cartwheel, poop, get a toilet, catch that poop, 
and then take the poop and what the hell do you even do with the poop to get a baby animal? I don't know. That's confusing, but we'll figure it out later. Okay. Uh, we're going to turn this all into bone. Yeah, we got a few extra feathers. We'll put those in there. We got some hide. We'll turn that into leather. It is noon. We have two more pieces of jerky, so we're doing good on food. Um, oh, we can make two bacon and eggs. Look at that. Two bacon and eggs, baby. Do we have any more white meat in here? Not enough to make make another one. Okay. Uh, so let's craft two of those up. Oh! Oh, they hit, <laughs> they hit the vending machine. I was like, freak me out, man. I'm going, what in the hell? What was that? Okay. Let's put that in there. I'm going to put one of the... One of the stacks of these back just to free up a slot because we're gonna go on a on a on a road trip on foot, right? And let's turn. Let's make some more jerky. With this. Okay, dried jerky. What are we? Oh, we need two salt. Okay. See, I've, I've just found that salt. I don't know if that's something we'll be able to craft later on or not. Okay, so we got a decent supply of leather. We got 57 leather, which is a good thing. You know, another thing I was thinking, too, is that we haven't we, we haven't made the farming table. I'm trying to remember if there was something else that was holding us up from that or if that's actually something we can do now. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put this away, too. I know I was, said I was going to keep it for a backup, but... We we have to really really watch our you know our encumbrance if we're gonna if we're gonna go out on foot for a bit here. Okay, so we got torches, we got some frames, and we got food, we got beverage. Do I have more beverage than that? Uh, let's take a full stack of goldenrod instead. Uh, but we will top off our hydration right now while we're here. Let's top off our food with this. Maybe get a little bit of health back too. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Not much. Man, we, we cannot get tagged, you guys. We cannot get tagged. No siree, Bob. Okay, so you're making the the stuff there. And, yeah, I guess uh, what we do is we go now and we... Oh! Search. Okay. We got 17 bugs out of that. gonna say did that just ruin it okay remember we have more charges on that too so let's grab let's put the bugs in here we'll do something with those later um let's grab this <laughs> it's so funny that it uses the auger sound effect it's like what the hell okay Let's put our rifle down here. And yeah, I think we're I think we're ready to go. Okay, so name of the game is find gasoline. Find a gas pump more specifically. Uh, there is one thing I want to do though before we leave town. I want to look in the workbench. Oh my goodness, look at all the Zeeks around here. Uh, I want to look in the workbench really quick and just see if we actually can now make the farming table. If we can, then maybe that's like something for the next episode. I'm not going to do it now because we don't really have time. Okay, so farming table. Screws, iron. We, yeah, we should be able to make this. Okay, but like I said, we'll do it next episode. Shut up. All right, now I want to see if there is... I mean, which direction do we go? I really don't know because I've never been out of this town since we started this series. Let's get a little further away from those Zikaroos. Okay, open up the map. So there's a big road going north and a big road going west. Um, So I guess it's, you know, kind of six and one half dozen of the other as to which one is going to lead us to where. So let's go west. Go west, young man. All right, so here we go. We're going west. Oh, get that loaded. That's a death sentence waiting to happen, man. Are the rest of these loaded? Yes, they are. Okay. Is my rifle loaded? Yes, it is. This rifle's coming handy for hunting, man. 
Okay, I don't think I'm going to kill Zeke's unless I have to. Just I want to conserve durability on our knife, and I want to get some territory uh, you know, covered today. So we're not going to do a lot of killing unless we don't have much choice. So the main highway is here. It's too bad we couldn't take the mini bike, but we can't take it until we get gas for it. That's just all there is to it. We will prioritize food for any looting that we do, which, of course, bird's nests count as that. I should probably turn my graphics up, too. I don't remember what that command is. I'd have to look it up. Okay, so the command is GFX space ST space budget space zero. And that turns off the, uh, the low graphics, and now we have high quality graphics a little more stuttery now too but that's okay i think we can live with that kasapa is the one that informed me of that command so appreciate that buddy all right let's get on this highway and just head west i already see more buildings okay that's a good thing that is a good thing nice we'll take those Okay, um, I'm going to take this, and yeah, what the hell, I hate leaving brass behind. There's just something about brass in this game that you don't ever want to leave behind. It's the one resource you really need a lot of in the end game, and there's no way to manufacture it. You can only loot it, so it should be prioritized. Okay. Let's hit these birds' nests. We're probably going to attach or, or attract some zombo attention here. Okay, so this looks like a little bit larger town. It's got a factory in it. So let's see if we can find gas pumps. What in the hell are those green fire things? That can't be good. Fred X. <laughs> Fred X. I love it. I absolutely love it. Fred X. I actually um, work have to work with FedEx uh, with, with my job in real life. Uh, doing shipments on certain things. So I, I just find that especially amusing. Look at that house over there, man. It's like a mansion or something. Uh, you know what? We can't get hit and he's running. We have to wait till he drops. Oh, shit. There you go. Let's open up the Fred X um, truck trailer here and see what's in it. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Well, you know, these are easy enough to make. And we're one slot away from being encumbered, so I'm going to leave that stuff there. Okay, we need to eat. So, let's do that. Let's eat some of these. I should have topped off my food a little bit more before we left, but... Part of the reason why we're losing food as quickly as we are is because I've been, you know, sprinting. All right. So... Oh man, I don't know what that green stuff is, but it can't it can't be healthy. There is there's no scenario where that stuff could be healthy healthy. And since our health is already kind of lowish, I don't think we're gonna go any closer to that stuff than this. Okay, let's just keep going. Gotta find a gas pump, man. That's what we gotta do. Why does that even have that yellow crap over there? Or yellow. Uh that's green, old G. That's green. That's what I meant to say. Okay, lots of Zikaroos. Ooh, is that a gas station? No, it's a diner. All right, so we got the old... Uh, seems to me like I remember reading something about the green gas things. Now, in the notes, a long time ago when I first started the Ravenhurst series. But I don't remember what it said about them. 
Okay, let's go down this way. I don't... Is there... You know what? There is a gas... Yeah, there is a gas pump in this place. That's right. Okay, let's break this um this thing down. Edgar, go away. Oh, there's gas pumps. Nice, man. We just hit the gas pump jackpot. Okay. Um well, we have to stay in the area. That means Edgar's going to have to die. And Cowboy Bob might as well die then, too. And Edgar, too, can die, too. Edgar, too, die, too. We just about got thumped there. Our health has come, has come back up a decent amount, though, with a jerky. Okay, Cowboy Bob should be dead. Now you need another application. Oh my goodness, you're running fast, Edgar. How's a fat boy like you move that fast? That's what I want to know. He's booking it. Oh, now he's dead. All right, you, uh, you're still bleeding. Let's just wait and see if you bleed out. No. He might have, but uh, he's just moving too fast for us. Okay. So we got some gas pumps over here. We also have some Zika Roos. So I thought I thought you guys told me that you have to put the gas cans in the pumps and then um, you have to come back later. It doesn't fill them up immediately. Which kind of doesn't make sense because, I mean, you know, if you're going to fill a gas can with gas, you can usually do that within, you know, a minute or two at the pump. If you were going to siphon gas out of a car, you should be able to do that within, I don't know, what, five minutes, ten minutes? Something like that? Right, let's check this trash. Okay, we're encumbered, too. I just do not want to be encumbered right now. So, what can we give up? Let's take a look-see. I think we're going to give up this axe here. And honestly, you know, we've got a primitive repair kit. We don't even need that axe either. Let's just get rid of it. And anything else we don't really need. This is a pretty nice... Um, oh, yeah, it's better than what we have. Okay, so let's just trash that. I know I can scrap it for cloth, but again, we are trying to conserve our space here. And I think we'll keep everything... Nah, we don't need one thing of iron. So let's get rid of that too. I think we'll keep everything else. All right. So, look at that old car. That's awesome. We got sleepies here. There's a lot of gas pumps. It's a good thing. And there's a shitload of sleepers here too, isn't there? Raise your fist in the air. 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 Okay. Raise your fist in the air. Raise your fist in the air. Okay, so, um, I guess, do we search this first and then do the, well, here, let's put the tanks down here. Okay, so do we just right click on it? Oh, I bet you we have to put the, excuse me, the tanks inside of the pump. Ooh, nice, that's a light, nice little chunk of gas. Upgrade, wait. Okay, these don't go inside of here. It says upgrade gas pump. How do I right click with 50 amp again? Oh, okay. So. 
Oh, okay. So did that... That just fill, filled 50 of these, right? Yeah, okay. Gas pump... No, it says gas pump is currently filling. Uh... All right, so are the gas cans that we just clicked on, are they inside there filling up? Is that what's going on? Let's try this one here. Nice. Okay, so we have 1,200. We now have 1,150. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you. So there's 50 of our gas cans are in there, and they're currently filling up. Now it's, now it's just a question of how long is that actually going to take. So we might as well loot... All the rest of these. Nice. 320. What in the hell is that thing? That looks like a mummy. It is. It's a zombie mummy for 500 hit points. Oh, shit. He's waking up. Is he fast? Can mummies bleed? They shouldn't. Theoretically, they shouldn't be able to bleed, right? He, he moves pretty fast. Oh, yeah, mummies can bleed. Don't ask me to explain that. 500 hit points. Holy shit. Okay. Let's go back over to our thumper here. Now we got you, too. Whoa. You were pretty fast moving, dude, for someone who's been dead for 2,000 years, or 10,000, or however long it's been. Okay, are you still bleeding? We must not have hit him last time. Do you have a beard or is it just my imagination? I didn't know mummies could have beards. He looks like he's got like a little lumberjack beard going on or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not going to get close enough, though, to confirm. Here, let's soften him up a little bit. I hope he doesn't move any faster than that. Oh, shit! He stuns! Run! <laughs> <laughs> the mummy got us! Oh no! And he died. He died. He died kneeling down. All right. Well, it was a it was a one for one, right? <laughs> he like stunned us, man. Holy crap! Okay. <sighs> we get to run all the way back there. And uh, what time is it? It is five twenty-one. All right. We better get cruising here. Um, we better take some sustenance with us, so let's just grab this, and we're going to grab this stack of fish, and we got to get our, uh, we got to get our, our stamina all the way back up, and we're running this direction. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, we're back. Uh, we got businessman camp in our bag, so let's pull him back a little bit so we can get to it. I'm glad the mummy died, at least. Yeah, that should be good enough. Alright. Take everything, and we're back in business. Okay. That was fun. Who'd have known there was a 2,000-year-old, or maybe 10,000-year-old mummy at a gas station? But there was. This prompt is broken and cannot be used. What the hell, man? Did the zomb did the not the zombie, the mummy hit it? Alright, um, I guess we're gonna have to kill these guys. Alright, I wanna check and see do we have gas ready? It's still filling. How the hell... How long does it take to fill? Jeez Louise. Okay, those three are still filling. All right, let's go... Nice. Thanks for the loot bag. Good stuff. We'll take all of it. 
We're five things over encumbered, though. The zombies are just relentless. Okay, so we've hit all of the gas pumps, and I've filled all of them up that I can. Uh, it's uh, 8 o'clock, and there are still just an enormous amount of zombies around here. So um, I don't have time to kill them all, unfortunately. So let's get this and just GTFO. And, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, we've got a nice little batch of gas here. And so in the next episode, we should, I, I'm thinking we'll, we should have enough to fill up the mini bike all the way or get it damn close. And then we'll come back here tomorrow and check those pumps and, you know, see if we can, you know, how much gas it's going to give us. So we only put 50 in. So if it's only going to give us 50 out, that's not a lot. Let's run in here really quick too and hit this pump just because it's another pump that we can use. Uh, never mind. It's broken. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to run home. I don't anticipate having any, having any trouble getting home before nightfall. And if, it, if I don't make it all the way back, I'll just sneak around until we get there. But we should be fine. And in the next episode, uh, like I said, we'll hop in the mini bike, And we will come back and get the gas out of these. You know, if it's only going to give us 50, we put 50 in. If we only get 50 out, that's not a lot of gas. It really isn't. And um, so we're going to have to find a desert as soon as possible and just make our own gas because that's not even going to be close to enough to sustain you know everything that we're going to need for what's coming up so all right guys that is it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did you know what to do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode goodbye